Just have a look at this. Scrap wood to treasure. Hello my friend, my name is Attila and this is Masterpiece. So in today's video, I am going to try to make treasure from rubbish. Sawdust everywhere! Mustard piece. So in my shop downstairs, I have a bag of walnut off cuts. So I keep this bag because it just doesn't feel right to throw away walnut. It's an expensive wood and you know, it's like, I just want to make something out of it. But this bag doesn't seem to get any smaller. So today I decided I am going to use the content of this bag. I will come up with a design that will make my life very difficult for the next couple of days and uh, I hope you will join me along the way. So before I start to edit the video together, I will have to say whatever can be messed up on this project, I will mess it up. So I'm basically spending the entire time fixing my mistake so I will end up with some kind of finished product at the end. So according to the internet, I can use just normal white acrylic paint on epoxy. So mistake number one, this paint doesn't dissolve very well in epoxy. It will create a cool effect, but if you are not after that, you will be surprised by the result. Look at this, it's paint. Okay, I have an idea, so basically, I don't have a vacuum chamber, so I would get lots of bubbles. So I figured if I put all the pieces of wood into this bucket, pour some epoxy on top of it, and just let it soak for an hour. So before it sets, put back into the mold, and in this way I will seal the wood and hopefully bubbles from the wood is not going to rise into the epoxy. So this is mistake number two. Can you think of a reason why this is a very bad idea? So basically when the epoxy sets, it will create a gloss-like finish. And that's, that's what we want. That's why we work with epoxy. We want that nice, shiny surface. But basically almost nothing stick to that gloss-like surface. And that will create a set of problems later. So here is the thing, the resin has set fairly quickly, way too quickly. I literally have to put this one into a bucket of cold water and I wrapped paper towel around it, wet paper towel and took it outside, otherwise it would have cracked. So if you look at the card carefully, you will see it's flaking. Sometimes it's like just like two inches of epoxy just flying off. So do you still remember when I said pouring the second layer of epoxy on glass like finish is a really bad idea? Now you know why. It's like the bond between the two layers is really weak. I should have sanded it off, but because it was in a mold, there was no way I can get to it. So I didn't have a choice but to pour a second layer of epoxy on it. 
So basically, kind of this is the point when I started to consider not finishing this project. But come on, we can get through this. So before I continue shaping it, I just want to send it up and see what kind of finish I can get on this one because I'm not sure there is a point to continue this project because it just doesn't seem to work. I got so many bubbles and it's flaking. I'm not sure it is going to work. So at this point I have realized in this case traditional tools may work better than carbide. So the bevel of a traditional tool always supporting the cut. So basically if I push the bevel of the chisel hard into the epoxy and I make a really thin cut, the bevel is not going to allow the piece to flake. I still have to deal with the bubbles later, but I am going to get to that point. Okay, now we are getting somewhere, so let me show you how I fixed the bubble issue. So basically what I done, I mixed up a little bit of gold colored apples. So I am going to apply the first coat of epoxy while it is really runny because it's going to get into the cracks easily and then later on I just come back in every hour or every two hours and just reapply the coat so I will get to a point when it is not runny anymore and just stay in place. I know it's strange but it is going to work believe me I tried it already. So now the resin is actually hard enough not to drip anymore but I still can work it so right now actually it is looking very good I'm quite happy with it I don't know what would be the final result but right now I am pretty excited to clean this one up let's do that Okay, let's have a look. I know this is not like super impressive right now, but when it polishes up, it will look so good. Trust me. I have to hollow it out. And I know for a fact, this one is really fragile. Let's get to it. So now it is time to take it off and the question is how many bubbles we have in this part here. Hopefully not a lot.
Just have a look at this. Scrap wood to treasure. So now I am going to make the ring. I will use a special chisel for this. This is called the Captive Ring Maker. This one takes a little bit of getting used to. So now I will make two simple flat discs, one for the base and one for the Saturn ring. And I only put up a very short montage of it because this is really simple. I am going to change the plan. This big flat disc just covering up everything. So from the side it looks fine, but if you look it from the other side, you will only see a big flat disc and nothing underneath. So new plan. I already have a small ring, same as the other one, and I have a big ring that I am going to cut into half insert this piece in the middle and this is going to hold the vase in place you can see through this is much more elegant and much more interesting so i am going to just start to glue it together not going to show you how to make this one again it would be very boring this one is exactly the same except larger so Let's glue it together. So gluing this thing up looks very difficult, but this one is fairly simple. I don't project 10 times more difficult than this, so i show you how easy it is. Put some sea glue there. Put the bottom ring in place. Use the contour part, just make sure it looks good and you just spray it on or you can take this one off. Put some CA glow here as well into the bottom, just put it in place. like this, make sure it looks good just spray on it hold it with my thumb like this just one hand 
crotch down to check if it is level and you just spray on it Mustard piece. Hey guys, I would like to say thank you to all of you. As I am uploading this video, I have exactly 1000 subscribers. It may not seem a lot to you because you probably watch people with 1 million, 2 million, 20 million subscribers, but 95% of the people who start a new YouTube channel never get to this point. So I am literally in the 5% now and for this Thank you very much, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you on the next one.